happy Valentine's Day, everybody. If you have nothing to do this weekend, I'll be playing in San Jose. I'm going to be playing at the San Jose Improv. That's Friday and Saturday, February 16th and 17th, Valentine's Day weekend. Uh, if you didn't get anything for your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, girlfriend, or even yourself, please come to the show. Uh, get your tickets now. Go to tumultcomedy.com. Tickets are moving quick, so get them while you can. San Jose, see you this weekend. And if you're still looking for a gift, head over to chichias.com to use my Valentine's Day code XOXO20 for 20% off all lip balms. It's not too late. The special's running till the 20th, so get your orders in now. Aloha, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to our Valentine's Day special um, where we're going to talk about love. Um, we also have some questions that were asked from the viewers, so stay tuned for that. Happy Valentine's Day. As you can tell, we decorated the set. Look at this. We got some roses up there, an XO, XO sign. sign. I'm dressed in red and black. And She's so dressed I. in red. You copy me. Smooth, <laughs> yeah. That's we're not, a little doing Is that red? Is that? Yeah. Is what red? color is your jacket? Is that orange? Just stop. Am I colorblind? Stop no, making I trouble don't know. To because I could say the same for you. Your hat is a little orangey and your shoes are red. It must be the lighting. Yeah. It must be the lighting. <laughs> well, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? You. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just okay. I mean, That's... what else more? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. What are we doing for Valentine's? Well, I have a show this weekend, so. The 16th and 17th. If you guys are not doing anything, you guys can, yeah, get San tickets. San Jose. Tumulcomedy.com. San Jose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, San Jose. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're probably just, I have something planned. I can't tell her yet. Um, just make sure you're ready. Make sure you bring um, three pairs of clothes. Uh, make sure you get ready. Uh, three pairs? Three pairs of clothes. Oh, so this is like not a one night stand type of thing. No, no. <laughs> this is for the long run. <laughs> right. Make sure you bring a, a parachute. A bet? No. <laughs> I told him there's. I'm. I, I'll do a lot of things. I'll try a lot of things at least once in my life. But I would never jumping out of a. I would never skydive. Yeah, never. I don't know why, why? risking your life is something. I have fun. a child. Like she needs yeah. me. <laughs> but anyway. um we uh, we asked uh, our fans, our followers, some couple of questions they had or Valentine's Day questions or questions about us. And we figured we'd read them out to you guys and um, we can answer some of them right now. Yeah, let's yeah, do it. Let's do it. Let's, let's look see at, what you guys. I sent you some of them. Um, everyone, asked, like there's like four people that asked this. They asked, how did we how did we meet? Well, we made a whole video about that on YouTube. Yeah, I yeah. thought we'd t we talk about it we talk like about a, a lot. lot. Yeah, I think we talked about it twice already. We, so go back to those videos on yeah. YouTube. Main thing is that we met at Disneyland, <laughs> but I never know her. Girl, bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, I like that you guys are also asking questions for yourselves. Mm -hmm. So here's they, here's one here's one a simple one. Valen is it Valentine's or Valentines? <laughs> With the N or M? It's definitely Valentine's. Valentine's but here, with the N. You know, in Hawaii. In Hawaii, you always get the local guys. Well, Valentine's. Valentine's. What time is Valentine's? <laughs> what time are we going to go to Valentine's? <laughs> uh, I, say, I say Valentine's with an N. Do you know where Valentine's originated from or came, came Valen, about? Was someone's name Valen? Uh, close. Uh, St. Valentine. Okay. So I Wait, guess. Wait, that's a guy or a girl? It's a guy. Okay. Yeah. St. Valentine. I guess the day, uh, according to Google, I had to Google it because I was like, where did this come from? And I guess it's the day we became, a, okay, the day, whoa, can I read? Associated romantic <laughs> love in the 14th and 15th centuries when notions of courtly love flourished, apparently by association with the lovebirds of early spring. Can you summarize that? No. Basically, because I, I kind of zoned out a little bit. Yeah, me reading. too. I can't even read. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even read at this point. <laughs> so basically, it's from a guy whose name is Saint, Saint Valen Valentine. Valentine. The story of Saint Valentine. And he did something lovely for his wife. Is that what you said? We're just showing our love for each other. Yeah. And not just for each other. 
you know, for a while I was very single and I've never been sad on yeah, Valentine's how, Day. How was your, yeah, how was your Valentine's Day when you were single? I've had the most fun. I would grab all my girls. We would go so on. So you're not having fun now? I have fun with you, but it's a different type of fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different type of fun. You know, now I get to, you know, be lovey-dovey and, you know, do all of that kind of stuff. But if you're single, don't be sad on Valentine's yeah, don't be Day. Sad. There is lots of things that you can do. And there's lots of people you can love on. Your family, your mom, your dad. Mm -hmm. I was getting gifts from my mom, my sister. Of course, my daughter. She has my Valentine's every year. And I would always buy her something, yeah. like a gift. And then I would go out with my friends. Like a, a couple years, we went on the um, catamarans in Waikiki. All the way. No, oh. in Waikiki. <laughs> <laughs> and we would do like, you pay $35 and it's like the endless drinking. <laughs> we had fun. <laughs> but um, those days are over. And now I got you and it's a lot more my speed <laughs> in this day and age. Yeah. Yeah, so... Do you agree that you have to ask someone to be their Valentine, even though they're together? I think the man yeah. should ask, for sure. Even if they're, like, dating or married? Sure, it's You still gotta cute. ask every year. It's cute. I mean, Shoot. you don't have to. But will you, will you be my Valentine this year? Hmm. <laughs> You're kind of late. <laughs> kind of late. Someone asked already. Plenty of us. Oh. Dang. But I never tell them yes. So okay. I guess I'll tell you yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, this okay. is a this is a question from should I say who it's from? From jzzls dot Okay. What is your stance on Valentine's Day proposals? I think it's cute. I think a proposal in general is. Awesome. Yeah, but on Valentine's Day. Yes, on Valentine's. I mean, it's a little predictable. Yeah. But who knows in this day and age. I support love. So, yeah, I think it's cute. fine. Me personally, I wouldn't do it on Valentine's Day. Why I want to be more original. I want to do it where you least expect it. So, like, I never proposed to you yet, but you're gonna propose. I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna happen when you least expect it. Oh my goodness! Yeah, <laughs> I'm scared. I don't know. We're gonna be doing it while we're I'm, in. I'm pretty onto you though. Like, I don't think you're. I surprised you a couple times. Couple times, yeah. Okay, so yes to proposing on yeah. Valentine's. I'd say, I'd say, if you want to make it special, do something different because it's predictable. That's just me. I like to be unpredictable and just a surprise. So, give an element give of surprise. Some advice. What would like a like an example? <sighs> Perfect day to propose. Yeah. Hmm. Shoot, I kind of give you my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> so when you least expect it, like, uh, I don't know, maybe you're just walking to the mall. Boo. And what you, you just, mean? and something, and you plan something big, maybe like a flash mob with everybody. Start Please dancing. do not do no flash mob. Or you come up in a, in a, what is it, a blimp? Will you marry me in the blimp? Oh, it's got to be like Vegas, yeah. Yeah. Like at Disneyland in front of the castle? No. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, thank you. I'm there's glad like we're ten, on the same page yeah, for that. There's like 10 of them that, oh. more than 10 that happen every day. Every time we go to Disneyland, there's someone proposing in front of the I castle. I mean, it's cute. I'm, I'm here for all proposals. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want that. Please yeah, don't. Yeah, not that. Got to be something when you least expect it. Yeah, please don't do that to me. Do opposites truly attract? That's from Yard Girl 808. Lisa? Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I never even know until I read it after. Do opposites truly attract? I think similarities attract. Opposites don't attract. I think they do. I think you like someone because you're similar. Like, oh yeah, they like the same interest, the same type of music as me. Oh, we both like the same type of humor. It's not opposite. Opposites don't attract. Similarities attract. I feel like you're very opposite for me, but we do have a lot of similarities. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess, but I think it's both. I think there's more similarities than opposites. I don't know. I am smarter than you, so I am not. Sorry. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a good one. 808C Rida with an <laughs> H. You guys ever tried long distance dating before? Any suggestions on making it work? Like long distance with each other or with other people? I think just in general, yeah. In general? How I would did. you make long distance dating work? I did. Well, I had one too. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm just go. gonna let you answer all the questions. I don't even know if what I could answer and what I can't. Answer truthfully. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think it, 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 the main thing in a long distance relationship to make it work is communication. Um, I feel like it's harder because you're always stuck to your phone even more if you're in a long distance, right? I think. Yeah, communication, but do you really want to be in a relationship? Yeah. Like, do you really want to? Because it's going to be tough. Mm-hmm. And uh, you got to have trust. Yeah, trust, especially nowadays. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't really work out for me. <laughs> the long distance. <laughs> lucky for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, lucky for me. <laughs> Would you consider if someone lives Waianae and someone lives town a long distance relationship? Yeah. <laughs> it's super long. <laughs> it's not gonna work, my boy. <laughs> okay, um all right, here, 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 here. I can't even read Yes sir Bay comedy. Which one of you is more of a cat person and which one of oh, you Oh that's is... my friend, Yasir. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Which one is you is more of a dog person? I could I love dogs. He I loves dogs, so he will like not cats. mess with cats. Yeah, I'm scared of cats. Why are you scared though? I just oh I heard or I read online that um, the most dangerous animal in the world is a cat. Oh. House cats, actually. I love cats. They're like. They scratch, though. They can attack you. Yeah. Dogs, but they that's have. If you don't love them. Yeah. Dogs and that's have. That's probably why you get attacked or think you might get attacked because you don't show them love. Dogs have more personality and they're more like. They do. A man's best friend. I noticed I had, I had cats for a while because. It fit with my lifestyle more. They're like really yeah. independent. Easier to take care. Easier to take care of. And then when they want love, they'll come and get love. Mm-hmm. When they need their space, they'll leave. It kind of reminds me of myself. Mm-hmm. I'm a cat person and you're definitely a dog person. But I love dogs. I have two dogs, no cats. So, okay, go. Um, this one says, On this any- one's from <laughs> B-O-T-O-F-3-T-T, Botofet. <laughs> <laughs> he said stupid question but how do you know if someone likes you that's actually a good question uh f- for girls or for guys yeah what like is your answer different. how do you know if a guy likes you if he's persistent if he's what does dedicated what does persistent mean like dedicated like every day you better be blowing up my phone you better be figuring out a way to see me. You better be making the plans. Otherwise, there's just yeah. different, there's more options, you know. There's so much more options you can have. And mm-hmm. you don't know if that girl is being pressed on by all these other dudes. What are you going to do to stick out? Yeah. So, yeah, that, I guess that's what got, caught my eye was you're very persistent with me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh. He must be really interested. Yeah, yeah. And he, I feel like a lot of people waste my time and you weren't wasting my time. thought that was hot. <laughs> yeah, I was very persistent. I had the right lines I would say to you. Lines? Yeah. What is lines you're using on everybody? Huh? You use lines on anyone or just, just you? Me? Just oh. you. Sure. I never talked to any girl before you. <laughs> um i think for in a guy's perspective if you know if someone likes you because this is a guy who's asking this i think uh i don't know it's tough now because i would say the same thing if she's persistent if she responds back to you if she but now like girls they like to play games now like they if they like someone they don't talk to them or they give them the cold shoulder or they don't talk to them for two weeks after they meet them huh we gotta see (laughs) if he's really interested yeah so what what do you think so what is what are some signs that girls show that they like a guy i mean it goes back to the olden days where the females you know they would drop a handkerchief on the ground you know they leave Wait, the little what? beat yeah you never you never heard this drop a handkerchief yeah on like, the a, like a, the t- their tissue back oh. then in front of a guy they like yeah. and then basically that's their bait if he goes and picks it up off the ground and returns it to her then she's like yep yeah, okay got him so what do you what do you drop today a phone or Drop a heart, drop oh. a, a smiley face in your DMs, and see mm. if you respond to it. Mm. You know, that's 2024 Instagram. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the girl, I feel like the girls will. But some initiate. girls is like, if they really like someone, I feel like they don't talk to them. Well, They're I like, initiate. I know what I want. Yeah. 
But I feel like if a girl, know. like nowadays, a girl likes like really, really likes a guy, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how he is. Like, they, they're kind of hesitant at first. They don't want to just give everything hope, to him. We hope, girls. Yeah. So, get guys, it, get, I guess just it. be be persistent and uh, be persistent and you never know what you can get. Never know. I see some <laughs> interesting couples. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <That's> so bad. <laughs> There's All one right. that says, "Do we ever argue?" Um. No. <laughs> no, no. Nah, we argue sometimes. I wouldn't say it's like. I don't say it's like an argue. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm the type of guy that like I hardly. Are, I'm a really nice guy. I hardly argue, but like if we we disagree in something, I'll try to persuade her to believe what I believe. And if it doesn't happen, then I'm just like, whatever. I don't like to argue. I've yeah. been in too much toxic relationships where it's it's not even... If I got to argue and like fight and have dramas, like I'm so beyond that. I already. see no point of it either. Yeah, too. it's just like... We never had any like big problems. I think we're both mature Yeah. enough to know what's worth fighting and what's stupid and... What? Who's hungry? Sometimes we're just hungry. Like, I'm just hungry. Feed me. Yeah. Like, or like, I just want extra attention. You or know? she just needs extra sleep. Extra sleep. That's, that's the a one. big one. If you wake up, wake her up in the wrong time. Oh, <laughs> good luck. It's more that kind Might of stuff. Well. Yeah. yeah. We're not arguing. But. Or just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think my past relationships drove me so crazy that I don't have the energy, the time to even. When we get irritated of each other, we'll be just be in like separate rooms, or I gotta go do my nails. Bye. Yeah. But it doesn't last yeah. more than a day, only a couple hours. Do the next thing, I'm just like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm saying sorry, even though I never even do anything. I don't even think <laughs> no, that, no, it doesn't even get to that point. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it's like you just forget about it. Yeah, I just want to move yeah. on. It was, it was stupid. Okay, next, 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 what next, next. What do we got? What do we got going on? Oh, who who pays for the bill when you go out, when we go out to dinner? me no i'm just kidding i don't i don't know i, I pay a lot of them you do you but do. sometimes she pays them and i pay I, a I lot too yeah I, I i like to spoil my man yeah like, i don't i don't think that sometimes like if she she wants to pay for it i just kind of like do like oh you sure and then i pull out my card <laughs> real slow you sure oh okay okay thank you you don't even <laughs> see me paying the bill i'm so sneaky with it i'm like i want to go to the bathroom and then i make friends with the waitress yeah like look at me i'm give her my card and then I like to be discreet with it. Let's see. Who snores the most in bed? I don't even snore. You always say you don't snore, but I you film don't. myself sleeping. I don't snore. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> I don't snore. Nah, we're both, we're both we're not oh, really snorers. Yeah. What? <laughs> You're, you I snore. I told you, you should get a CPAP machine. Shut up. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. <laughs> Unreals. Um... Uh, Q underscore the underscore dinosaur. Will Rachel be my Valentine? <laughs> this is the guy that asked. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's just one of them. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Somebody already asked me. <laughs> Better luck next time. This is from your friend, Jamina. What is each of your favorite non tangible gift you've given each other in life since meeting? Oh, oh, that's kind of a run on Jimena, question. I feel like you know something we don't. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I love uh, getting little notes and letters from. Tumo. This is going to be a stupid question, but what does non tangible mean exactly? Like, not like you can't hold it, like not physical. But you said letters and you can hold those. In my heart. <laughs> like, that's what i, I thought it meant like non-tangible gifts uh, i would say my your my favorite okay, gift fine. from you that's non-tangible is just your support for me like you always support me in things and i do like my comedy shows or or this podcast like you know i talked about it and you were supporting me and or even filming skits and stuff. Always, you're number one yeah so i appreciate that got you boo but you support me too yeah when you have time. <laughs> <laughs> when you have time, I'm like, what? You cannot film this for me. I always film you. <laughs> um, I think one of my gifts 
non-tangible gifts would be your patience with me. Mm. You're very, you were very patient with me and understanding and I had a lot of uh, toxic ways mm-hmm. in, you know, from past relationships or just things yeah. that I accumulated that, you know, weren't healthy. And uh, you're very patient with me and didn't hold it over my head or mm-hmm. uh, hold it against me. And or even just the day to day. Yeah. Hey, we, we got to leave at 830. It's 8.45. <laughs> He's patient. Yeah. It's and hard uh, sometimes. Yeah. Sorry. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> just thinking about all the times that, that we were late to things. He said he claims he's never late to anything until, until he I met, met me. Until I met her. <laughs> I got to give, give her Rachel's time. If we got to be somewhere at 8.30, I'm going to say we, it starts at 7.45. <laughs> well, so that we arrive at 8.30. I told him, you want to... Sorry, there's so much things I got to do. Like yeah. He's in the car. And I'm like, you in the car waiting. That irritates me. Because I'm like, you could have been helping me. You could have grabbed water. You could have grabbed me coffee. You could have loaded up my purse. You could have massaged my feet. <laughs> <laughs> like I, that's, I get, oh my gosh. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing everything. You're just like, in the car, on your phone. I'm like, brah. <laughs> And then and then we're like halfway driving. He's like, "Oh, I forgot my camera. <laughs> oh, I forgot this." I'm like, "Oh yeah, but well, you're so quick to be ready, huh? You even brush your teeth, or you just was trying to prove that you was ready before me?" Oh. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. This is a sad. Me. This is a sad question. What? From, from Y Junior. How do you deal with a breakup during Valentine's Day season? <laughs> Try honestly, find another find another Valentine, I guess. Honestly, do what I did. Go out. Like I've go out and spend time with your family. Mm-hmm. You can go out to get like dinner. There's a lot of people single. Come to a comedy show. There's even like speed dating. <laughs> speed dating. <laughs> Are you still trying to settle tickets? <laughs> yeah. Or watch this. This is on Valentine's Day. Watch this, what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's so many things you can do. Uh, so many people who need love. Get a dog. It's not just about, you know, those couples, those relationship loves. There's different different avenues and mm-hmm. all types of things you can do. And your time will come. And then you're going to wish, you know, the time you, you, you finally find that special person, you might be like, oh, I wish I was single. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, enjoy where you're at. Okay, this person, um, Kali Ann, I think it's, yeah, a girl. Said, should I take my boyfriend to a fair or something, or is that cringe? Not at all. Fairs are great. Yeah, we went to Puno Carnival recently. That was my first time. Yeah, I thought it was cute. I think fairs is a great. Date. I think going anywhere with someone that you love is special. Yeah, it doesn't. You don't even have to go anywhere. Just like, it could even be like a picnic in a park. The main thing that girls that's like that's really romantic. Yeah, the girls just like effort and you giving it up their time, even just walking. Put down your phone. Yeah. I gotta look at the question. <laughs> <clears throat> Put on your phone, look into her <laughs> eyes. I love just staying home too. Okay. Um, Naomi with two eyes dot B. How do I know she's the one? How do I know she's the one? Um, I think you just know. There's no explanation for that. Like when I met you, I was like How do you know? How do you I, just I don't know? know? I think God told me. Wow. Yeah. I just like when I seen you and when I, I talked to you and you just turned the other way, I knew. <laughs> well, you <laughs> no, at my butt. No. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's just like so there's something about you that I really I really liked. And and what? <laughs> Keep going. What else? And I was like, Yeah, I gotta I gotta I gotta get this girl and I just is uh, one thing that I really, really enjoyed was that you um were easy to talk to like everything i said to you or when i talked to you on the phone it just it was flowing easily <laughs> and you was talking back to me easily too and i, I think it's has to deal with i mean it sounds cringy that i'm a comedian but it's, it has to deal with like laughter and humor 
like yeah. when I was talking to you, you were kind of getting my my type of humor and the lingo. I literally was thinking the same thing when I started talking to you. I'm like, yeah. oh gosh, you can keep up with my I was my some, humor. Yeah, like even the like the comedy movies like Nacho Libre. You know, you like all those <laughs> stupid favorite, funny movies. My favorite colors like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything you said is my, my favorite, favorite thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that, and I knew, and it just. Every time I would talk to you, I would just get really, really happy, and I was like, and when the times when I didn't talk to you, I would, I would be like, oh, I'm, I miss that feeling. I need to keep talking to this girl. She makes <laughs> me feel better, and she makes me, uh, just be a better person. Dang, how much better can you be? <laughs> <laughs> so that's why, that's why I was. You're that's how me I knew. Oh. That's how I knew. Yeah, I think. We just got along really good. It was yeah. easy. It was fast. Our relationship is easy. And what I what I told him in the beginning too, I was like, "You feel like home," mm -hmm. and I said, "You feel like you're you're part of my family." Like, yeah, it was weird. Yeah, I got along with her family well. Her her parents. Like I've her, known you for so her long. Sister, brother, them. and I just met you. Yeah, everything was just like. It was easily like you're. It was easy. Oh you're, my gosh! I really am gonna tear. You're easy I to love. love. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. Oh okay. Yeah, you're. You're loving you is easy. Um, what was it like when he first met Ruby? When you first met Ruby, I think it was on Facetime. Yeah. No. Oh, like the first time in person. Oh yeah, what was the f I can't the even first remember. time in person was when you came to my Hilo show, and uh, um, oh, I brought her with me. You brought her, and she was at single your, mom kind thing. You was gotta at, date uh, with your kid. She was with Le <laughs> Lehua them at yeah. the house sleeping yes. there, and then the next day of the show you had to go to um, you had to catch a flight, but I guess you woke up late, <laughs> and and I had a show that night too, and I took you guys to the airport, and I had to go stop at Lehua's house to pick up Ruby, yeah, and she was sleeping. And, and you then, carried her out for me, and I was like, "Yeah, oh thank God, a man." Because you couldn't carry her, so I carried her out. Otherwise, I'm like getting strong over here carrying my big old daughter. I got you guys McDonald all the time. McDonald's breakfast. Yes. Then I took you to the airport, and that's when we seen how's this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then like she she uh, she missed her flight, and um, she couldn't change the flight, so I had to walk over to the to them, you know, pull some strings. And then we got you on the next flight. Pigs on pigs. Yeah. <laughs> got you on the next flight back back at home. But that's when I first met Ruby. And um Yeah, she she was uh it, it went well. She didn't give me any hard time. I mean a little she here liked and there. You. Yeah, she and liked me. Ruby has seen some crazy relationships. Yeah. Like Ruby's, you know, the one I grew up with. Mm -hmm. Like I, that's why I love her and I owe I feel like I owe her so much. But she grew up with me while I was still growing up. Yeah. So she's seen a lot of, got, not a lot of guys, but she's seen, you know, maybe, you know, like two relationships where mm -hmm. I, oh, I wasn't really being treated right. So when she actually met you and seen the difference, she's like, I like him, mom. Like, <laughs> he's good. And she's like eight, nine at this time, but she's, she's, yeah, she's mature. Yeah. And she could, she realized that, well, he's really treating she this man is treating my mom well. And yeah. you know, that's what I wanted for her. Mm -hmm. To find a, a good man. Yeah. To That's one be thing a good that, that, I, that I kept telling Rachel, I kept telling you is that like uh like I, I, I love Ruby too. You know, I love both of you guys. It's not it's not a problem that you have a child. Because <laughs> that's what you always told me. Like, you know I have a child, right? I was like, Yeah, I know you have a child and that's fine. You know. Even Ruby too, like I told Ruby that um i'm gonna um take care of both of you guys you know but i told her like you know she obviously has a dad still and and i said like i'm not replacing your dad you still have a dad which she, she still sees but i told her like um as long as you're living under my roof or with me i'll take care of you like my daughter too <sighs> can i get a tissue <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so Just... that's how it was Truly a godsend. It was, yeah, it wasn't a big, a big. Uh, it wasn't a wasn't a problem. I mean, <laughs> sometimes we we you know, we joke around with each other like that. Me and Ruby. By the way, I thought it would be good to invite a special couple 
that could maybe <laughs> give us a few pointers. A special couple. A special couple. On this podcast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're coming now. They're outside. <laughs> <laughs> They're outside. <laughs> what? Yeah. Someone no that you might, you know, benefit from hearing Who the are they? story. <laughs> so I guess you got to answer the door. Okay. Uh, let me go. Let me go. Look. <laughs> Surprise. Oh, so this is the couple you surprised me with. Surprise. 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 <laughs> My mom and dad. Yes, why not? I thought they had a great a- love story that she shared with me. And um, I thought everyone should hear it because it's well, pretty funny. My mom's been dying to come on this podcast. Oh, I know. Every day, every I day know. she asks, oh, I can be on your podcast. <laughs> yeah. I can talk about everything. But now, now is your chance. Now is your chance. Now is my chance. Now I'm quiet. <laughs> no, I don't know what to say. This is what you gotta do. You just gotta bring her on air all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> happy Valentine's Day. You yeah, guys? happy Valentine's. You guys Thank got you. married. You guys got married on Valentine's Day, yeah? No, the day after because Valentine's Day f- fell on the Friday. Yeah, but uh, we got married on the fifteenth. But it was. Valentine's Day that it wasn't because it wasn't because you you thought that was Valentine's no, Day because you no, forgot no, that. No. <laughs> no. Honey, to, yeah. honey, we getting married on Valentine's Day. It's uh, the fifteenth. <laughs> oh, I mean the day after. <laughs> also, the flowers were very expensive on the fourteenth. The what? The what? The flowers to decorate um, my party. They are the venue, and oh. so. They told me, oh, why don't you just buy it tomorrow on the 15th? <laughs> <laughs> on sale. So, on sale. Wait, so you That's was, smart. You was planning to do it on the 14th? Yes. Yes. I wanted to do them on the 14th, but Friday was the 14th. And Saturday, uh, we, we, we wanted it on the Saturday. It's, it came on good anyway. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It was the 14th someday uh, in, in the world. Right. So you guys got married February 14th. How long have you guys February been married? Oh, sorry. <laughs> 15. I said it in my head, but I said it wrong when it came out. But so how long were you guys married for? How 27 long? 27 years. 27 yeah. years. Yeah. So 27 you're, years. you just turned 28. I just turned 28. 28. Oh. So I was one years old. Wow. So you guys. That's the easy way to remember for yeah. me. That's yeah. whoever, I however how old he is I'll just minus one that's like me with my parents as well <laughs> yeah Samoa yeah. so was in our wedding yeah, yeah I was a ring boy yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. but he wouldn't walk down he was crying oh, well you guys 27 so years married but how long were you guys together we were together mm. <laughs> um let me see, um, 27. Oh, you're making oh, them do hard work today. No, I don't want them to pick on us like in the audience. <laughs> three, doing it. Probably like about before, five years. Three years before we got married. Oh, so you guys are three years dating. Oh, that's and then, good. Yeah. And then you guys decide to get married. Long distance dating. <clears throat> Any longer, it's like, come on, you're wasting my time. Yeah. Long, <laughs> you was long distance dating, what do you mean? Yeah. Well, he, he, was, <laughs> he wasn't with me physically. He was where, where, where in he, my where heart. He, where he was. In my heart. He was behind some walls. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, what was it? I met, I met him in, when I... He was in Halava. Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> they, yeah you, guys, you guys met in prison. Yes. Right? You was in prison for... God knows what. <laughs> yeah. And you was I, in I prison too. Yeah? For no, you was in prison too. I was in prison for making some bad choices, yeah. and um, I was in there for a couple of years, and then, um, you go ahead and tell him how I was Yeah, two more years when I met him. Wow. Yeah. And so I, I, I met him through a friend, my daughter's friend, and I would visit him every weekend, and through letters, we fell in my love. He wrote the best letters. So romantic. No, 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 I'm laughing because she was telling me she's so excited to tell this story, and now she's telling it, she's telling it so so quiet and calm. <laughs> she had, he had two years. Oh, two I was years. there to meet my friend. I visited him for. <laughs> no, actually, actually, it was actually it was I, actually I wasn't even sentenced yet. Yeah. And I was telling her I was going to get out pretty soon, and, but I really wasn't because oh, I didn't even get anything, sentenced. Yeah. And then uh, when I got sentenced, and then um, I had to do it like not, not like I did five a mandatory years. five years, oh. and um, she hung around all that time, and, uh, and that's how our, our relationship began. Wow. True letters, love letters, Best part letters. of prison ever had, seriously. The best, anything about prison is usually bad and all that. But uh, I'm not just saying that because she's here. The best part is I met, I, met, I met her. And if I didn't meet her, Ombre over here wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> but how did you guys, like, how did it 
how did it meet how did it first happen yeah how did you meet him in prison yeah so you're oh. just in prison or you no. he sees so you you see him what does it work? my daughter was 16 at the uh, time my older daughter from my first marriage um um so she said mom i need you to chaperone me because my friend is in prison i said are you crazy i'm not going to go into prison no way her oh, friend was C. that was that her boyfriend at the time kind of like yeah yeah so he was in <laughs> trouble so i had to chaperone her so before I went in, I had to give all my name and whatever, my social security, <laughs> and a picture. I, 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 um, I put a picture of me to her friend, me and my daughter, and then he showed Tom. You guys were roommates, yeah? No. Oh. <laughs> you were roommates? Okay, he showed Tom. Hey, how's no. this chick? <laughs> yeah? My girlfriend's mom, they're going to come in Saturday. Oh, my gosh. Oh. And Tom got all excited. So <laughs> he, called, he oh. called one of his girlfriends. Uh, oh, another oh, girlfriend. No. Just for oh. a second. Just for her to come and see him so he could come out of the jail. The, oh, the, yeah, oh, the to cell. the visiting room. Oh, to the, the visiting, visiting, room. visiting room. Yeah, yeah. So when I walked in there, he's with this other girl. Wow. And I'm with my daughter. And then he tells me, hi, hey. Like that. With like, his other oh. chick there. Yeah, <laughs> with the other girl there, oh. <laughs> she didn't know that he, he invited her to, you know, to see him, and he was. <laughs> in oh, she was. Uh, <laughs> the other girl. Are we taking this? <laughs> <laughs> He's all like, oh no. <laughs> the other girl was a decoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she was a <laughs> And the whole time he was staring at me, and she, he wasn't even paying wow. attention to her. Hey, what wow. was you? What were you doing the whole time? I was like, oh my God, this guy She's is staring like, at me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my yeah. God. So I told my daughter's friend, he goes, oh, Auntie, Auntie, this guy, like me too. He's, I showed him your picture. Oh my gosh. He's, he wants to know if he can call you later on tonight. I said, no. <laughs> I have a boyfriend. At the time, I had a cop boyfriend. A cop? Oh. My boyfriend was what the heck? <laughs> you had a cop boyfriend, but, but you was, was in love with, with the. You was in love with the. the she wanted them bad boys. boys. Yeah, the inmate. <laughs> so <laughs> we had the visit. And he came up. You, you can't talk to other um, inmates while you're in there. Mm. So he he waved. He waved to me. He said hi, Louise, and I said hi, and I said ooh. Oh, he said you by your first name. Handsome, yeah. Oh. Because he looked at my picture and he saw. And then um, <laughs> that night when I went home, what kind of picture was it? It was just a picture of me yeah, and my just daughter. A regular Bikini pic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I think it was a So, how picture. soon after that did he try to contact you? Was it that immediately? That night. Oh, that same wow. night. He called me and my boyfriend. How did he was have over your phone number? From, um, oh, from Dwayne. The guy. Yeah. 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 Oh, what's his name? Dwayne? Dwayne Medeiros. <laughs> Dwayne <laughs> <laughs> no, Madaris. He's he? so happy uh, that we got married and we had uh, you. Yeah. Dwayne yeah. Madaris, if you're listening right now. Dwayne Madaris. Thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. you. You guys got, got them together. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's doing really good too. So Dwayne's like, yeah, Tom, yeah, yeah, yeah this is her number. Yeah. I got him from, mm. from the daughter. Uh, so he call calls me collect, right? It's a collect, a collect call. call. What does that yeah. mean? You got, you, the pay I have to pay look. for it. Yeah. Oh, you got to pay. Yeah. Unreal. Hi, this is Tom. <laughs> Remember me in the prison? How Remember could me? I not? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so I had to go in the bathroom because my boyfriend was over. <laughs> <laughs> the cop boyfriend. And he, he probably knew. He probably seen the number. Why, why is my oh. job calling me right yeah. now? It was my. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know the taping all this, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, I didn't yeah. have a car. So a couple of days later, I asked my boyfriend if I could borrow his car. I went to go see Tom, your dad, with the cop's car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you so you never have to get scanned. You went, they left the gate for you. Yeah. Come right in with no, the siren. No, you don't have to get scanned. You can yeah. just park. <laughs> <That's laughs> uh, yeah, I come in with the siren. No, it's <laughs> <all> perfect, <laughs> perfect plan. What you guys sneaky, huh? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so then, when did it start to get serious? Well, while he was still in there. Yes. yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Through yeah. letters. Yeah. We fell in love. Aww. I fell in love, and my daughter's mom. This guy's in in yeah. prison. You can't fall in love. Well, mm. You need to go out. You're 37 years old. You need to go out and have a good. Oh no, I was what 30, 35, four. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Every <laughs> weekend, right he's like, I cannot believe we're telling this <laughs> story. <laughs> You're visiting him, mom. You need a life. <laughs> You, said, so you guys no, wrote letters to each other. Yeah, you read her. Ha she had bad handwriting. That's why you Very read her bad handwriting. handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> Still bad today. 
<laughs> Isn't your handwriting like mine? Oh. It's similar. <laughs> he has yeah. bad handwriting. I type. Yeah. I type. Him and, I, him and I's handwriting, they would look exactly alike. I don't know about that. He has beautiful handwriting. Chicken scratch. Mm. <laughs> wow. So that was that's been going on for how long? The the prison relationship. How long has that? Oh, all the way been? till I got out. So like how many years? Three. I'll say about uh, yeah, three or four years. Yeah, wow. well, it's still at the beginning part. So well, you would uh, see him every weekend for three to four yeah, years. Not every yes. weekend, but con- almost. Con- uh, yeah, uh, uh, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. He was at Old Triple C that he went to um, Halava. So uh, I, I drove to Halava, and then when he first got there, he was in the high. It's called the high. That I only could see him through a, a glass window. What the put, heck? Put the hand on. Yes. The <sighs> Hello. <laughs> I know. My family thought I was crazy. <laughs> Uh, what are you doing with this inmate? Are you crazy? This guy is in jail. What made you want to s- stay and talk with him? Why didn't you listen to your family and leave? Well, I don't know. I, I threw his letters. I could see that he was sincere. And um, he really wanted to come out and live a different life. He touch your, touch your heart. He touched my heart. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, the wine I boy good with the vocabulary. <laughs> I'm from Kanyo, he's from Wainai. How did you guys meet? You're so far from each other. <laughs> was that e- the extent of it? Was there anything more? Like, were you guys able to ever hold no. each other? Oh, when Within those three, four years? <laughs> yeah, we c- I could yeah. see him, but they're really strict. Oh. Yeah. No holding hands, no kissing, but yeah. we would sneak a kiss in there. Yeah. Aww. They're in there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I-, I would put <laughs> perfume on my letters. Oh, and he'd love it. Oh, wear the same perfume you put on your neck. <laughs> he'd rub it on his body. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I had to dress. I'm taking shower for the next three days. I had to dress with a with a t-shirt, yeah. t-shirt and jeans. I couldn't dress sexy at all. Well, oh, they say you can't do that there. Oh yeah, when oh. I as soon as I walk in there, they'd search me. Right. Oh wow, it's strict then. Very yeah. strict. No sexy looking. Yeah. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah. And then you came out. And then you guys did you guys immediately move in with each other or? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was tough, but um, yeah. First of all, being locked up and everything, and then talking to having a relationship with her, it's 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 a little bit different. Outside here, you got the everyday things. You guys mm. can go go to store, uh, go to the movies, uh, go out, go on the phone anytime. You got you have freedom. Mm-hmm. Inside you don't have you don't have freedom. You have a lot of um, uh, uh, quiet time, a lot of alone time, and everything. And so, and, um, and and you're clean and everything, and your heart is, and you you have these emotions coming out and everything. And so when we're we're in a letter relationship or on the phone, that's the only two ways we had it. And yeah. uh, easier for me because I, I you want the communication. Because I, I look forward for a letter to come to come in, yeah. just so and I can visits. read them and then feel a little bit. How she feels and all that, but I look forward to it. Well, um, it help you get through the time faster. Yeah, yeah. Phone it's calls so. were only like five minutes. Yeah. I would wait for his phone call. Just once a day. Yes, yeah. I was. That's you only allowed one phone I, call. I don't, a day. This one, I don't know if you know if it was once a day. I, I forget. One. Might have been a um, couple times a week. Like it might have been every other yeah. day or something. I, but it's real. Yeah, it's real um, short and everything. And if I was at home, I was dancing hula Waikiki, I would tell him to call the the payphone. <laughs> And you'd yeah. be right there. And yeah, I would a different type of love back yeah. there. And I would have to put my money now, in there. Now the inmates have phones in there. Cell iPhones. phones. Oh yeah. Because I was in Tomorrow's and one girl was on Facetime. She goes, "Oh, say hi to my boyfriend. He's he's locked up uh, right now." Uh, <laughs> and they're Facetiming each other. Uh, so that sometimes they, <laughs> so they different. sneak in phones yeah. too. <laughs> I don't know, might have been smuggled in there. Yeah, it might have been smuggled. Yeah. But I had they to put the coins in the payphone in tomorrow's. to accept his call. I had all my coins because he would tell me I'm going to call it this time because wow. I was working. Mm. He got to for real be on time. Yeah, I had to oh run to it. Oh my god, the phone's not ringing. Oh my gosh, he didn't call. He didn't call. Mm. Oh, maybe he's in the cell, or maybe he something happened. Oh. You know, oh he didn't call today. Let me so. ask you guys this question then. Who who said I love you first? Him. Um, or wrote it first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wrote it. <Yeah. laughs> Probably me then, yeah. Yeah. You don't you don't even know. Was yeah. it when you're in locked up or you or was it afterwards? When he was locked no, up. No, when I when I I, I, I wrote a geez, I, we wrote a we wrote a ton of letters, yeah. Do you guys yeah. still have those letters? Yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness, yeah, I they said they have them. I think I showed yeah. them all one time. Yeah. I seen some of them. Yeah. 
But I don't even know where I don't know where it is. Some were a little rated X ones. So Actually, I mean, yeah, he was told me that he's seen some of those bad. We're gonna away. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep in. Save no. it for us. <laughs> you should make you should make it into a book, yeah. or you should make it into a book and then give it to her and then. Oh, we're just giving him Valentine's Day gifts. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Have it all printed out in a book. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. And a lot he of writes are, beautiful <laughs> letters. A lot of things are what what I what I want to do and. What are some pickup lines you had, or what is what is mm-hmm. <laughs> what are some lines you had? Some game. <laughs> You're beautiful. Some riz. Oh yeah, just <laughs> You're too about, good to me for me. Too good to be true. The most beautiful girl I ever seen in my life, and. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you see in me, but no, I can love you forever. Oh, and then, uh, very romantic. I want to change my, uh, what I've been in. And then you grab a little bit of water and you dribble it on top of like the letter. Like you crying. To make like you was crying. No, that's oh. just, that's just, that's just, I just throw that in there. Oh, another no. thing is, okay, so at um, KCCN at the time, you could dedicate a song to the inmate. And I would call, like take me for hours to get through it and say, I want to dedicate... A song for my to my boyfriend Tom Tuine. He's in prison, oh, and he was listening gosh. to a radio in Israel, and he would get it. Oh, you you listen. It was so cute. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes we don't have it, and then um, the doing the doing during those years that was the lowest point of my life. Mm-hmm. So yeah. a lot of time, I mean, it wasn't like all fun and games. I know we're joking about it now because yeah. when we look back and we see all the things that we we've done and everything, but um, she she got me through. Uh, the times because um, Christmas comes around Valentine's Day comes around all the holidays come around you, uh, and we, we don't celebrate it inside mm-hmm. yeah. and so you can't throw a pity party on yourself and feel mm-hmm. like oh I wish I didn't do this so I mean no you just gotta you just gotta go through the times and all that and having her uh, I helped him through yeah, get through prison get some emotional support and uh Writing yeah. the letters and then telling her some of my goals, telling her what I want to do to change myself to coming out mm-hmm. and um, things that uh, um, I want to do. The most, um, the thing I, I didn't know at that time, but then I learned about it was that she doesn't drink or do drugs. So I'm right. So that was perfect for me because I wanted to get away from that. And, mm. and if, but it just happened that she was she was like that, and that was just an added um, plus, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so it was good. Came out of prison. Yeah, we can fast forward a little bit. We yeah. came out of prison. Um, she to told me to come move in with move in with her, and um, I took him immediate, to church immediately. Uh, yeah, in. I introduced and, him yeah. to our church and, and try to adjust to life. It's kind of I was away for like five years, but still, the times changed and yeah. the fast and getting back into the public, the population, and everything. So it was a little bit crazy at first. Well, and, his parole uh, officer had to come to my house and make sure everything was okay. So he got paroled out to me. Because he was still on parole when he came out. So mm, we couldn't go uh, out. We had oh, to be had home by 10. Bedtime. Or a curfew, yeah. yeah. And it never uh, changed to this day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go but, home uh, soon. Yeah. 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 What Come time in. is it? <laughs> my Check parole out. officer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so my daughter, Trina, was living with, with us, too. And she had just had her baby, um, Tomo's nephew, oldest nephew. And then um, he was with... We were in Kailua in a little apartment. Uh, just coming, trying to do the every nor- everyday normal things, looking for a job, learning how to live together, support each other, and, um, and uh, turning my life around. Yes. How, did you, turn- how did you propose? How did I propose? Oh, let me see. Jesus, <laughs> like 27 years ago. I think it was in, uh, it was in a room in the house, yeah? In the mainland. Jerry's house. My sister. Try to tell a story. <laughs> he forget already. No. You tell it better. Yeah. Do you remember, buying, yeah. do you remember was, buying the ring? Yes. From yeah. where? Zales. Zales. Oh, Zales. Yeah. Zales. Zales. Zales is bigger back then. I still I'm, got I'm, the but ring. Zales, we no, still have Zales. Zales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Zales is good. Yeah. I, yeah. I, like Zales. I thought you didn't say swap meat. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no, he Zales. got a Zales. job. He yeah. got a security yeah. job. Yeah, that's right. Royal Guard. Royal Guard Security. Yeah. I'm very grateful for them because... There was the only ones who gave me an opportunity. Mm-hmm. Everybody else said, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I would because give you an opportunity for a yeah. security guy. I'm like, Everybody's yeah, he's hired. <laughs> yeah, Everybody's but I couldn't guy? find no yeah. job. <laughs> we're anywhere. good. Yeah. Everybody thought that we were going to fail. Oh, you got to, uh, it may coming out of prison. Yeah. You guys are not going to last. He's going to go back to drugs. He yeah. says, uh, I said, no. He's, but we had our challenges. But, yeah, we uh, had challenges. It wasn't all peaches too. and cream, but yeah. when he, 
he got to come out first on weekends. Slowly, yeah, they, slowly yeah, they right, let you out. Right. Oh, yes, for real? Yeah. yeah. Uh, long walk up. For how long? Yes. Um, how long? Uh, the, like a year? They try to bring you out slowly, oh, like so they, they, like they don't let you go out all the way. So you go yeah, into yeah. an, uh, yeah. it's, uh, uh, it's the furlough so, program, La Maka. Yeah, yes. some, guys, some guys just go out and get get arrested already. And they don't come back. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I would pick him up in the morning, and I would spend the whole day, huh. and then, then he got to sleep over one yeah, night. one day, then it turns into um, a weekend, and then some, it first started off with hours, yeah? Yes, hours. And then that's when Tamua got conceived. <laughs> 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 Came out a couple hours and then um just for the couple hours once, not even the week full weekend yet. <laughs> <laughs> All it takes is what? No, I'm just kidding. And, um, I was, <laughs> two minutes. No, I'm, I'm just taking kidding. him back to his um La Maca and driving him. All the way home, I was just like uh, very sick, you know. I thought I had the stomach flu. Oh my gosh. And then I mean it happened so fast. And at this age you, you were like thirty I was 37. Oh, so 37. I wasn't conceived in the jail cell. No. <laughs> no. It's a rumor. Yeah, rumor, rumor. <laughs> yeah, so we waited. Dang, there went your street cred. Yeah, I know. I was, saying, I was, in, I was in prison. And he was so happy. <laughs> and then, For two uh, months. <laughs> yeah, because the doctor said I, I could never have a baby again because I had some problems. Mm. So my doctor said Tomo was a miracle. Mm. And um, Makes sense. Yeah. I, I only had one, one, um, one tube. I went over and it's oh you can never get pregnant you're gonna always you know have uh, miscarriages or lose your babies but he stayed but God had other plans God yeah had other plans yeah. Yeah. as always we yes. waited a year because uh, you know he just came out so he was still getting used to being out mm -hmm. we waited a year before we got married and he was a, a year old Aww. oh wow. yeah that's thank you for sharing yeah and so we're still together such a so how did he propose again? Back to the oh, question. Oh, in um, California, <laughs> at, uh, we went on a trip. Yeah. You were maybe like nine months or something. And um, we, we planned it right when you turn, after oh. you turn one. He said, oh, I, we're going to get married, okay? I want to marry you. Yeah. There's nothing special. But it wasn't with no ring. It wasn't with no ring. Would you marry me? It was and, in the uh, room. Yeah. And I said, yeah. yes, yes. So oh, I you went. never have ring? No. <laughs> she oh. said, no. Oh. 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 Real quick. So what did, he, what did he put on your finger? Nothing. The circle of trust. <laughs> yeah. He just said, let's get married. I said, okay, let's get married on Valentine's Day. Yeah. So we had like six months to plan a wedding. Oh, wow. And I went uh, downstairs to my sister's in the kitchen. I said, guess what? We're getting married. We're getting married. He just asked me to get married. And oh. everybody was clapping. And so and I had. Oh. Dummy. You dummy. I, yeah. I had my nieces in <laughs> my wedding no, from the mainland. We just planned it like really fast. And we had like 300 people at our wedding yeah. at my auntie's house. And I mean, there's not much to it, yeah. you know? Yeah, we just planned it. Just and Getting right with God. Yeah. He loved New Hope. I introduced him to New Hope, Pastor Wayne. Mm -hmm. It was at Farrington High School then. Uh, no, Stevenson first, yeah? I was pregnant for tomorrow. I was going to yeah. church, yeah. Mm. And then um, we went to Farrington. And then a pastor from New Hope married us. We couldn't get with Pastor Wayne. He was too busy. This other pastor. We had a nice, beautiful right. wedding. Beautiful. We just went to her house, too. It's Auntie Sylvia Waiwaiole. And uh, she's a beautiful woman of God. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's had a, um, a many weddings at her at her house. It's up in Kailua, Enchanted Lakes. Beautiful, beautiful. place. Yeah. Beautiful backyard so right by Enchanted home. Lake. And um, this past week weekend, uh, her niece and uh, her brother's daughter... Just got married up there too, so I'm over there talking to Auntie Sylvia and and we're reminiscing, saying, "Oh, how much we're weddings you had over here?" And then we're going down the list. Mm -hmm. This so and so got married, so and so. All the cousins. Like I said, and we was married over here, and now Kisti and um, um, Keegan just got married over there too. And, oh. uh, and New people. Hope married them too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. New Hope Kailua. Yeah. What are yeah, what is some advice you would give to, you know? Um, new couples or people who want to get married or yeah what do you guys have 27 years married um what is the secret to a long-lasting relationship listen <laughs> to each other yeah um <laughs> pray together that's a good uh, put one god put god in your marriage mm -hmm. yeah pray together um don't give up there's gonna be challenges and everything too because yeah. it's uh, um I'm, I, I wasn't good. I wasn't, well, I don't know how to say that thing, marriage, yeah? 
I had to learn too. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's he had a little like, hard time when he came out of jail. Yeah. So because he didn't trust people. And, and, and everything. Mm. And so I rough to, edges. Um, I guess just handle it. I mean, when, it's, when the things are really good and all that, yes, of course, it's fun. And you don't want that. You have laughter, enjoying each other's company and all that. But then sometimes you're going to have some storms. And it's how you adjust to the storms, I think, is really key. Because... Yeah. We've had we've we've had our moments. Yeah, and, and I'm not I'm not an easy guy to get along with. A lot of counseling. Um, <laughs> and, he has a bad temper, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm yeah. a Portuguese. Yeah. So for real. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you guys some some questions. This is like just for your two couples. Okay. Um, couples questions should be yeah. fun. Okay. Let's see. Uh, you can look at your. I know. Yeah. There's so many. Yeah. I'm just gonna choose random ones. Buzzer or something. Who, who get the fast answer? Newly no, no, no. Just wed. who is funnier <laughs> between you two guys? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny. <man. laughs> Who chooses where to go for dinner? She does. A lot of oh, times. Oh, she does? Yeah. yeah. That's right. I'll throw out different options and she says, oh, no, this, yeah, then we'll, we'll figure out a place to Who's go. Who's more organized? Me. Me. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, they both. Yeah. Okay, John, can I vote? Both of you guys organized. I'm organized. Organized. Depends what you think what He's organized is. He's pretty organized, is. too. Yes. He, he, he goes by the Very books. Very organized. So what happened oh, yeah. to uh, Tumo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what happened to me? How come you're not organized? Yeah. Well, two positives make a negative. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He's organized chaos. All right, who is the better kisser? <laughs> oh. Um, I don't want she to hear like She is. She is. Oh, really? Okay, I was going to say you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who is better at keeping secrets? Him. I, I cannot yeah, keep, she <laughs> cannot keep oh, wow. I already know you the tell, answer. Yeah. Tell her, okay, don't, don't tell anyone. Okay, I'm not. But she can tell the other one. Hey, Steph, you know. Um, so I don't know, I don't know. Don't tell but nobody. Don't tell anybody. Yeah. Okay. She it's puts, a secret. She can tell another one. She puts not a disclaimer in there. Well, can don't I, tell nobody. He can't, he can't keep a, a secret. He will not tell anybody anything. No. That's that prison. Yeah. 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 Prison. yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why I was in prison. No, oh, he's kidding. really clean. I never rat. Yeah. He's very clean. <laughs> <laughs> he's who's clean from being in prison. Who's, uh, clothes. who's the better driver? Me. For real? <laughs> I thought you got into more accidents than him. <laughs> no. At the was it your lot. fault? Huh? the parking was it lot. Parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> was it your fault? <laughs> yeah. I thought you kind of reverse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who is more romantic? Oh, yeah. Very romantic. So. Yeah. yeah. I got to say this. Same to like Tamoa. Tamoa, he'll write all the letters and I thank you because I love that. I know it's from you. It's she from just him. From read, you guys. She's going to read the handwriting. <laughs> buy, me, buy me all kinds of clothes and perfume for no reason. Yeah. Flowers. Now, I would see stuff he does, like leave stuff on the table yeah. with, with flowers. He got that from him. That's, I love yeah. it. It's so cute. And like uh, a letter and little stuff. Little letters. And uh, where did you learn that from? That sh You're just a February uh, Pisces? <laughs> Maybe I don't know this. Uh, this uh, yeah, this where'd you thing. learn that from? Um, uh, He's like, what can I say? I can, I can what say can I say? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, because I, I created I, it. <laughs> <laughs> Take notes. I didn't, I didn't have nobody teaching me anything. I no, didn't have didn't. no role models right. to where'd tell me how to be a dad. Because your be dad wasn't, wasn't around. Yeah, your right. Dad. And so how to do this? How to have? And that's the part you just get to learn. And who's the first to apologize? Oh, all the time it's me. Yeah. And that's a secret yeah. to a long lasting marriage. That's him. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, <laughs> you know why? Because it's always his fault. <laughs> so he'll apologize. Never, it's never us, our fault. We're always wrong. <laughs> and even when you're right, you're what? Wrong. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> um, who's more likely to get lost? Oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> the Portuguese in the family. The she got lost coming up here. In my I got office. lost coming up here. I got lost in um, Seattle. I went to the bathroom at the airport. I came out. <laughs> I was lost. I couldn't find my gate. When was this? When we went on one oh, of your recently. trips. Oh, recently. <laughs> I was panicking. And, and fun fact, she don't go in elevators. Yeah. Oh, I don't goodness. like elevators. Is that a common thing that everybody likes? I don't know. How come, you don't like, how come you don't like elevators? Yoda was I, tripping out on that, I told him. I'm That's claustrophobic. another challenge in itself. <laughs> I, I know, but I went. Yeah. I go, like in Vegas. What floor were you on? Oh, like the... 60? Yeah, the pen, I had to penthouse, close my penthouse. eyes, Rachel. <laughs> Why? Because I cannot. Just, I just can't yeah, go in the elevator. Uh, I had to close my eyes. He didn't tell me what floor you She didn't go in the elevator over here, and it's only on... What is this? 
five uh, floors? Third, yeah. yeah third. That's third how you in shape. You just yeah. walk all the stairs. What, what is your biggest fear but with elevators? Getting stuck and I can't breathe. <laughs> 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 Dying of a heart attack. Anything else you're afraid of? Um, I used to be afraid of flying, flying. but I'm better now. Yeah. From going to all your shows. I, 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 I'm afraid a little bit. You are? Of oh, flying. Oh, flying. Yeah, oh, I, think I think yeah. everybody has a little bit of... Um, Especially all the uh, problems now. I know. Yeah. 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 He always grabs my hand. And he I'm does? Like, yeah, he grabs my hand and I'm like laughing at him. Like, ah, and he's like, stop. I got <laughs> like, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, just relax. If, if it's yeah. our time to die, it's our time to die. Yeah. At least no, we know we where we're pray. going. Yeah. yeah. I he's take like, my Bible. Right, just gotta trust in uh, God. Yeah, you know, I, I've been in the elevator with the with the grandkids, and she's inside there too. Oh my gosh! And then we say, "Oh, jump!" One time, we all just yeah, jump. they do that too. I try to tell them jump. She's over there yelling, at, "Don't you dare! Don't you dare jump <laughs> inside the thing!" I think my mom was afraid of elevators, so that's I got it from her. Um, oh, it was a learned behavior. And so, but he's not. Who uh, who stays up the latest? Me. I stay up late too. <laughs> huh? Eight o'clock, you in bed. Depends no, if you on night I, shift. Yeah, I got crazy hours. I stay up yeah. late. <laughs> Who wakes up first? It depends on my hours because I woke up at um, tough one. four this morning. Early. Yeah, if he works. Yeah, if he's a, off, yeah. he'll sleep all yeah. day. Uh, I'm up early. Who's the healthier eater? <laughs> Me. I'm <laughs> half, half, I guess. Let me ask you questions about each other. No. Yeah. Oh um, no. What is, what is what is her shoe size? Uh, seven. Wow. Women seven. Six yeah. and a half. <laughs> yeah, no, but I usually, I usually, I usually <laughs> get them seven. So yeah. Get them yeah. Seven. Always gets a little bit bigger. <laughs> yeah. What is her waist size? Her waist size would be her her blouse is medium, <laughs> and then I'll just go by. Uh, it's a size eight. No. <laughs> I no, you know what? No, <laughs> no, you when you know when you buy the pants, they have a women's size, yeah. mm. and they go like size eight, size ten, yeah, 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 size yeah, twelve, yeah. and keeps on going up. Yeah. Six, so she's, eight. Yeah, she's depends a, what. She's an eight, eight to ten. No, I'm not even a ten. <laughs> no, no, but eight. depends. Like that. No, eight, hon, eight. I'm size seven, eight. I'm a, I'm a yeah. two. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. But well, that's five. what it is. So I can go by seven that. Seven or eight. I can okay. fit into a five too. Like, you know, um, my so dad would not even be able to answer these questions. Uh, so props. He buys me. Tops. You're close. Buys me all my medium clothes. Medium tops. Yeah, the cutest medium clothes. Size. That's the Easy medium. Buys me all my clothes. Yeah. He buys you all of it. your clothes. No, not all of it. But you can. You can always return it. Did he buy that for you? No. But he bought me these jeans, slippers. Only he buys on occasions. Cute. Buys me my clothes, the cutest clothes. Where Better do you shop th- at? Expensive uh, places. Anywhere. Just when I'm walking around and then everything, anything just catches my eye because sometimes you just got to just walk He'll come around. come home with that. He's always thinking of you. Yeah. yeah. So what's, cute. What's his uh, favorite movie? Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> One or two. <laughs> Both <Two>. of them. <laughs> yeah. What what is her favorite movie? Uh she she likes those um uh romantic movies and everything like um what's that those the cards what do you call it card Hallmark Hallmark yeah. she like Hallmark mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hallmark movies yeah Hallmark movies and um love stories love stories yeah. I'd be kind of love story and what's that this Hallmark and there's another one on TV the channel I forget what it was. But, what do I um, always like to watch on the TV? Besides Netflix. <laughs> Fixing your house. Yeah. Oh, f- house. But do it yourself. Oh, yeah. I like those. Yeah. I love those yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. TV. Yeah. yeah, but when they show it on, on TV, she thinks that's how fast we can do it at home. Oh, yeah. The commercial. That, on the top TV, it takes a while. <laughs> but he doesn't do my honey-do list. Takes what, it for years. What position did he play in football? Um, defensive linebacker. What's your final answer? Yeah. What is it? Defense linebacker. Uh, when? <laughs> yeah, she's, she's technically right. Yeah, yeah, she's got a broad answer. For, yeah. Um, Detroit Lions and oh, okay. Canadians. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 no, you played defensive line for yeah. Detroit. Defensive line, yeah. but yeah. in high school you played linebacker. linebacker yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. That was a hard one. Yeah. I know his was, number. What was his number? 88. There you go. What, do you have other 88. numbers? 88 and 71? One year, yes. Oh. Up in Detroit. 
Okay. I don't even know the other numbers you had. Did you have 89 one time or no? No, I had 90 one time. Oh, 90. Oh, 90 yeah, 90. Yeah, because it used to be 60. And then oh. they changed the rules, so they thought I would like 90. I said, I don't want 90. Like, you just flip them upside down. Yeah, that's what, that's what the guy thought it would be. Like, yeah, you can like that because it's like a six upside down. I said, nah, give me 88. You got any other questions? Um, Our anniversary is coming up. Yeah, you said that already. Uh, <laughs> the, 15th. <laughs> the 15th. But see, we it's kind of good because we only buy w one gift. Valentine's and anniversary dinner. One dinner. A lot of people oh, yeah, get married. Do you guys celebrate time. Valentine's and the anniversary, or you combine it in one? We'll buy each other Valentine's card. It's uh, it's, it's one. It's oh, so one. when do you right. celebrate it? The fourteenth or fifteenth? The fifteenth. Oh, so you don't do nothing on the fourteenth? I, I might give her a card, but yeah. uh, we'll do the fifteenth. I won't go to dinner to the fifteenth. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then she said, "Let's go on Valentine's." I said, "No." Too but, much. Uh, well, Valentine's how long have you guys anyway. been together? <laughs> no, no, for real. Like, like two years. Two years, and then what? Valentine's Day. What? Um, Celebrate, oh, yeah, on yeah, Valentine's yeah. Day, yeah. Who's the most romantic? <laughs> Timo. Timo. Yeah. I guess me, yeah. yeah. Like him. <laughs> so you guys celebrate on the 14th? Uh, not necessarily. I don't like to go out when it's super busy. Yeah. I or, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, last year it was on the 14th. I think it's too this much. Year, might, yeah, we did 14th, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. It's too commercialized now? It's too much reservation this is year, crazy. Yeah. I like to just stay home. Make, yeah. Don't make me steak at home with big potatoes. Yeah, yeah, like I love and that. I candles. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Who's the better cook? Me. Oh, she is. She can cook. She can. She's like a Sam Choi. She can make stuff <laughs> out of nothing. She only can cook what cereal. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, she makes steak and, steak, steak and hot dogs. Steak and hot dogs and, and pasta. That. But she can make. She makes anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. You but I hardly cook yeah, anymore. Yeah. Cause we're our schedules are different. We're older. We mostly go out. Yeah, no need with this hardly kids. Only when the grandkids well, come over. Yeah. yeah. Why even? We go out. He bring. He he likes to bring Hanara's home. Hanara's. Why not? <laughs> Hanara's. Oh, giving yeah. them publicity. <laughs> That's my, my granddaughter's born on the um, Valentine's Day. Oh yeah. Which one Dakota. Is that? Oh, Dakota. Dakota. Oh, Dakota. Uh, oh okay. Dakota Twine. Happy birthday. Happy Aww. birthday. Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for stopping by. I never know you guys are going to come by. <laughs> yeah. Were you surprised? <laughs> yeah. Well, I had a feeling because she keeps asking me every day to be on my podcast. Uh, <laughs> I keep so. begging him, Tumua. <laughs> wow, <I'm> your mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the guy's brother. What was that um, the comedian that was on TV, the Netflix one? Uh, what's his name? The his brother kept on asking him to go on the show. And had, oh, yeah. Uh, um, Eddie, oh. oh, not Eddie Murphy. Chris Rock? Chris Rock. Chris Remember Rock. his brother kept on yeah, asking yeah. him. Yeah, <laughs> keep asking him, I want to go on the stage, go on the stage. He keeps telling go me no. Show, yeah. uh, I still want to, so on one of Tomo's shows in the mainland, I keep begging him, Tomo, can I do a hula for these people <laughs> <laughs> before you come out? I just want to do one hula. It's a comedy show, now in Luau. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they missed the hula, you know. What song would you dance um, Hawaiian lullaby. Yeah, where I live, there are rainbows. They I don't know love if that, that would be good or not. I, I have don't know. to let. I, he has to say yes. One I don't know day. if I like. I like save you from embarrassment. That's why I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm a good hula dancer. <laughs> would you go on before or after? Before. Mm. Her, the right opening. before, when, yeah. yeah, when yeah. people are to, um, um, before the opening, in, when they're coming in, oh, when the people opening. are coming in, and they're when there's down. like just a security guard inside, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, and then like they're just quiet, and you know, yeah, everybody, it's almost it's packed, but then they're just waiting for. <laughs> Maybe he can do it for his next birthday, yeah. You know, I'll do hula for you <laughs> for his birthday. Maybe I have a birthday show. Yeah. Hawaiian lullaby <laughs> is a nice song. Oh, okay, uh, <laughs> I can tell your. And what you can do, your football haka. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what are you gonna do? Uh, no, he's out no, there selling I'm the merch. The, I'm just in the audience. Who's the better dancer out of you guys? Yeah, yeah. who's the better yeah. dancer? Yes, yeah. I seen like, uncle's moves in Vegas. Yeah. Like yeah, that, yeah. when we first started dating, uncle yeah. was doing some moves right. on the strip. I was like, whoa, oh, very, very <laughs> smooth, right? Very, very smooth, place? right? And he was alcohol free. 
Very smooth. Very smooth. Smooth operator. What is that? The street? What is that place? Um, downtown. Free, 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 free Man. Free Man. Yeah. Free yeah. Man. Yeah, How was it rolling? Oh, that yeah. was too funny. You should eat that no drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a stranger too. And yeah. the funniest thing, there was, there was no music playing too. That was a bad. Yeah. But the girl, he whacked, whacked her butt. It was like. Oh. No, oh. What, he never, oh, he never touched. He never touched. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. yeah. It was a stranger. He wanted to, but couldn't. <laughs> What's funny? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. No, she actually came up to me and you guys didn't <laughs> hear that. Oh, that's right. Yeah. She was she dancing to you. Yeah. She said, You want to know how to twerk? Oh, and I said, What? Oh. And you remember that you saw her doing that? You know what twerking is? <laughs> yeah, I bet she's trying to do that too. <laughs> <laughs> I said, What? Well, let me see. <laughs> that was so funny. Rachel yeah. just met, was you just met us? Yeah, and I was yeah, like, and she was freaking out. That's true. that's true, I only have two moves, so I used the best, <laughs> I used the best out of two. Which yeah. one am I going to use? And one of them uh. was used to make you. <laughs> <laughs> and he always put the one leg, one leg up, yeah? What? One leg up. <laughs> he dances. <laughs> Oh my very gosh. smooth, very smooth. Yes. Who taught? Who taught you how it to dance? Rough. Yeah. Who taught you how to dance? Actually, the way I dance, you know, nobody taught me. <laughs> <laughs> he learned it in prison. Yeah. <laughs> Tuesdays we have disco night. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! But uh, um, yeah, thank you guys. We're just wrapping it up now. Yeah, it's always good to be here. Yeah, yeah and we enjoy you guys' company and everything. Great, great love story you guys had. Um, I don't know if <laughs> I've anybody never heard else. anyone yeah, have anyone a else. love story like that oh, in yeah, prison. Yeah, you'd be yeah. surprised. They are. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. never. Right on. But it's good. I made the right choice, and <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm Phew. here today. Yeah, <laughs> 27 years. So she, uh, 27 yeah. years. She can still handle me some right now, and so. <laughs> Oh, yeah. it's good now. Thank you. Uh, I'm grateful to God. Gave me another chance. I'm yeah. trying to get this thing right. And um, because we both were married once before. Mm -hmm. okay, so we both made mistakes and everything. And hopefully we learned some. And and we had some challenges, but we had some a lot of good stuff too to work through it. And right. um, I'm, yeah. just, I'm just grateful, grateful, grateful. And uh, I was able to be a, not only a husband, but be able to be a dad with you. I messed up with my two <clears> older <throat> sons, so. It's never, all good. Never too late. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And you guys have a great relationship now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yes, I do. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm very grateful and happy Valentine's Day to you two right here, you two yeah. lovebirds. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day too, and yeah. happy anniversary. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Thank, Thank you guys. You. Yeah. Twenty-seven years. Twenty-seven and years. Counting. All right. We're gonna grow old together. <laughs> old. <laughs> <laughs> Kupuna. Gracefully. Gracefully. Kupuna. Yeah. Kupuna. That's right. Kupuna hour. Shop at time, 6 a.m. Denny's. Yeah. Denny's. Yeah. 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 Denny's. The producers are going to get old. Right now, they're having a field day with us because they're I two my, young people. I have oh, my AARP card. 20% of Denny's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys I'm, not, I'm not hating at all. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm here it. for it. <laughs> we do that too when it's going on. For a savings. No. You guys get discount at my shows. Oh, I use Kufuna. <laughs> my, I use off. my Kufuna status a lot of times. Stop, you're going to get emails from other Kufuna. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, tomorrow I thought I get ten dollars off your show. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank oh. you guys for coming. That wraps You're up welcome. our Valentine's Day welcome. special. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we see you guys on the next episode. Aloha. Is that where the camera is? Yeah, right there. <laughs> <laughs>